Sometimes color correcting or color grading your videos could take a really long time and people even often spend money on presets and things like that. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily and quickly color grade or color correct your footage in Premiere for free. Let's get it. Hey, what's up? I'm Omar Takori with Think Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for building your influence with online video. And on this channel, sometimes we do tip videos and also tutorial videos just like this one. So if you're interested in that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. So I've been doing video for a little over 10 years now, and I think every aspect of video and editing is a journey. And I think it, you, it's always, it's, you should always be evolving and learning and trying new things. And you know, when I first started color grading, I found that it really took a lot of my time and you know, the, I would say the client or whoever I was doing the edit for didn't really even look for a specific thing. And so you know, after I started getting into the flow of really pumping a lot of content out, I found a very simple way to actually use what Premiere already offers um, to actually achieve a cool and awesome look for your videos. This process I'm gonna show you can actually work for any kind of video, whether you're using a Canon, a Nikon, or a Sony, um, is a very simple way. However, the clip I'll be using in this video will be one that we used on the Sony a7 III, and we shoot our videos in a uh, flat colored profile, not a completely flat colored profile, but I actually made a video and talked a little bit about video settings, uh, and you can check that video out. We'll put it on the YouTube card in the description below if you wanna see how we got to this you know, picture profile. But with all that being said, Let's jump into it and I wanna show you how to color grade super quick using Premiere Pro. All right, so because this is a Premiere tutorial, we'll be using Adobe Premiere, uh, the latest version, and you wanna make sure you always keep those updated just in case uh, you don't wanna fall behind. And we use the Adobe Creative Cloud here at Think Media. Uh, works well because we use Lightroom a lot, we use Photoshop a lot, Premiere Pro a lot, and then there's also like Encoder and Adobe After Effects, which come in handy at um, certain times. And so uh, just to make this super simple, we're gonna create a new project and we're gonna call it um, YouTube Color Grade. So open that up. And once you get into your editing, um, into Premiere Pro, you're, you're, you're probably gonna see this workspace. I mean, if you wanna join, join along, just change your workspace to editing. And then uh, that's pretty basic. And then I'm gonna double click here in the project bin, and I'm going to import the one clip that we're gonna color grade. Uh, this is just on, I just put on the desktop. Obviously, that's not how I, I don't work off the desktop. But for this example, I'm gonna import this one clip we shot of Sean. Uh, which was shot on the Sony a7 III. And I'm gonna drag that into my sequence. And here we have our sequence now all set up. And uh, it's actually a good quick tip to, when you, when you drag your clip onto the sequence when there isn't one, so let's say there isn't a sequence, uh, it'll create a sequence for you based off of that clip. And so if you know your final project is gonna be 4K 30 frames, like how we shot this clip, then it's a good thing to just do so you don't have to like mess up when you're creating a, a, a brand new sequence. It just, you're letting the program do it for you. And we can even change the sequence name to color grade just so you don't get confused uh, in your bins and stuff. And so uh, here we have our, our image, uh, our clip with Sean. And um, as you can see, he's just, it's just a basic shot, but we shot this in a little bit of a flat color profile. And you actually don't know the difference until you actually color grade it. So let's get to color grading, yeah? So you're gonna hop into your effects panel. You're gonna search the word Fuji. This is just a, uh, this is a preset that Adobe already has in their program. So you don't need to buy a preset. You can literally use this. I, I, I do this with every clip, with every video we do with Think Media. Take the one that's 3510, uh, Fuji Eterna 3510. I'm gonna drag it onto the clip and boom, it gives me this good foundation. This already looks great. I mean, if you really wanted to end it here, you can go ahead and end it but I just wanna show you the quick little tweaks I make to all the clips that we do here at Think Media. I'm gonna to go to color uh, as my workspace just so we can mess with it a little bit. And the biggest thing is just you wanna ask yourself questions like what is wrong with this image? You know, uh, As one who I've been doing video for a long time, I would say the first thing is it's, it's pretty, it's, it's very warm. So I'm just gonna cool it off a little bit. Um, the next thing is I, I see the shadows get really lost, like it's really dark in the shadows. I'm just gonna bring up the shadows a little bit bring down the highlights, and it has, it's a pretty great looking shot, um, but because it's flat, it actually loses its color. So I usually add about 30 on the, on the saturation. So I'm gonna increase the saturation to 130, 
and right there, as you can see, is it colored everything, including his face, obviously. But I then, what I do is I, I, I color correct his skin tones. And so you wanna pop into curves, scroll to the bottom. I'm gonna take this ink dropper tool, tool on sat versus sat, click on his skin. And then what it's, it gives me three little toggles. I'm gonna just bring these down below the line until I get to like a natural looking Sean. And you know, just, just a tad, you don't wanna overthink it. I, everything I try to do is I don't, I don't overthink anything when it, when it comes to video editing because we need to get content out and we don't wanna spend so much time bring down the exposure a tad. And uh, if, if I toggle this edit, here we go, this is the color corrected version and this is the not color corrected version or color graded. And as you can see, it just gave life to its image, you know, like, and you can mess, you can keep going. I would honestly, based off of how this looks, I would probably stop at around here, apply this edit to every other clip shot in this uh, scene and then move on and then just and export the video, upload to YouTube and get going. And so uh, a power tip though you can do is, you know, if you only shoot in one spot in your house and you never really deviate from there, you can actually save this preset for yourself in the future. And so let's do that. All you gotta do is come over here to your, um, your effects controls and uh, click the actual color grade, you know, the Lumetri color, right click, save preset and save it however you want it. However you'll remember it, type in you, YouTube, YouTube is one word, YouTube Studio. And now if you save that, it'll always be in your effects panel. So I'm gonna go here to effects and let's just apply it to the shot itself. I'm gonna go jump back to um, editing. I'm gonna delete this actually from the thing. And now I'm just gonna type in YouTube Studio. Drag it onto the clip, boom. I don't even have to do anything anymore. It's good to go, we're ready to go post videos on YouTube. So there you have it. That's how we color grade every video we do here at Think Media on Premiere Pro. Um, I don't think anyone should take all that long when color grading and especially if like a client is waiting for a project to be done and you're just stuck trying to make it look right. Um, I think it can take away from what the, the video can do for your client or you know if it's your YouTube videos, if, you're, if that's what's the stumbling block for you to post videos, uh, now you can be encouraged with a quick easy way to you know make your videos come to life and, uh, but question for you is how do you color grade and what, do, what programs do you use to color grade currently? And uh, if you got value in this video, why don't you let me know by hitting that like button and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, talk soon.